to show you the intake right now. Intakes to sustain this intake. The piece sticking up is uh, just meant to stop and let the water go. And then the concrete channel runs under the ground to the actual screw, which is underneath this lid over here. There's the dam. And I've got the hood up on the screw so we can see inside. This is a very small unit, so we just made the top so it would flip open. As these units get bigger, there would be a bigger structure, you know, a very small building on top, something like that with a door on it. But this one, we've just got a test set up inside here. You can see the camera so we can monitor it at night for uh, winter freezing. We're doing some of those tests. So right now, the screw's running at full capacity, about 72 liters a second. We've got a slight wobble in the motor there from testing. We bent the shaft. Uh, most of this is just some other control uh, a data logger and some of this stuff. We've got a couple access holes back here on the ground. You can sort of see the black caps there that control that are, have our flow sensors within the channel underground. With our control box in the corner there. We've got an internet connection coming out here so we can have the camera and some data, the data loggers feeding our computer. You can only really hear the, the water uh, now that we've got the proper gearbox and motor. That's virtually silent. All that you can really hear is the, the flow of the water going through. Now let's put the let's put the top down. Brian, could you put the top down, please? So the top's down now, and you can't hear very much at all now. I can hear the dam off in the distance there a bit. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's a concrete channel, obviously, running from the intake and then underground beside the dam. This whole unit is beside the dam. And then it goes down. The screw is right under this uh, Lexan lid. And we have the Lexan there just primarily so you can see in there. As these got larger, you could be able to stand in the small building up top and look down into the screw and see what's going on. And we need it covered like this for it controls icing. And then the bottom, there's just a flap at the bottom that seals it up from the air and yet lets all the flow out no matter how much flow there is. If there's less flow or the stream level goes down in the drier seasons, the flap just goes down some. And that's, that's pretty much it. 